Network access controls, also known as NACLs, act as a stateless virtual firewall at the subnet level. And when we say that they're stateless, this means that they have both allow and deny rules. If that doesn't make sense right now, don't worry, as we will talk in more detail about stateless and stateful firewalls here shortly. Um, when you uh, create a VPC, it will always create a default NACL for you. That's very important to remember. NACLs contain two different sets of rules. They have both inbound rules and outbound rules. Um, so inbound is ingress, so traffic that is entering the NACL, and outbound rules is egress, it's traffic exiting the NACL. So there is an example here on the inbounds and outbounds tabs where you see rules with numbers. We'll explain the numbers here shortly. Uh, subnets are associated with NACLs. A subnet can only belong to a single NACL, so there's also a tab for subnet association. Um, the key difference between NACLs versus security groups is that NACLs have both allow and deny rules, where um, security groups only have allow rules. And with NACLs, you could block a single IP address, and this is something you could not do with security groups. Uh, we will make emphasis of that last example because that is the best way for me to remember the difference between the two. Uh, if we take a look here at the actual rules for uh, NACLs, the first thing is you're gonna have a rule number. This is something that security groups do not have and only NACLs do. The number it will determine the order of evaluation from lowest to highest. It's important to understand that, that low is a higher priority than high. The recommended way of working with these numbers is to work in either 10 or 100 increments. The reason why is that if for whatever reason you needed a number in between, you've given your, uh, yourself some room to work with, but you'll see a lot of times we'll doing 10s or 100s, and the highest number I, th I still think is that uh, 32,766, so you have a lot of room to work with. You can set a type of traffic or set a custom protocol or port range. This is gonna be the same as security groups. You can either allow or deny traffic for this rule, which security groups do not have. Security groups only have um, allow rules. So you wouldn't even specify it. A use case here uh, would be, let's say we need to determine there is a malicious actor at a specific IP address that's trying to access our instance so we can block their IP address. Um, so just carefully looking at this diagram, the idea is that we can create a deny rule at a very specific um, IPv4 address, and we have a deny rule uh, just uh, specifically for port 22, so they can't SSH, which we are describing there. So hopefully that is very clear as a clear example. Um, if we're creating NACLs, and we're going to use the AWS CLI as examples here, the idea is that we would provide the VPC. Um, we would have to create a, a NACL entry rule. So very similar to what we saw in the UI screenshot where you are providing a CIDR block. Uh, if, it, if the rule is an allow action, it's protocol, the rule number, the direction ingress being uh, inbound traffic. Uh, we associate the NACL to a subnet. So that is gonna be another thing that we're going to want to do. But there you go, that is NACLs.